no one to play with? <laughs> There's always PartyPoker.com where the world plays poker. This is the card game that's sweeping across the world. Texas Hold'em just keeps getting bigger, and tonight we have another six players looking for a piece of a half a million dollar prize pool. This is serious money, and with some of the best players in the world taking part, it's the tournament you want to be watching. And with Jessie May and cowboy Kenna James commentating on the action, it's the one you want to hear too. Let's go over to the guys now. Good evening, ready to tie one on. Jessie May here with the cowboy Kenna James. Great to be here, Jesse. Always a pleasure to take in the action here at the Party Poker World Open. Back to the tables in a second for this heat of the uh, World Open. And a uh, couple semifinal seats filled. I believe we've got big action tonight, at least in the mouth department. Well, absolutely. A lot of characters out there tonight. It should be interesting, certainly a lot of fun. But who will rise to the occasion and take that semifinal seat? Fill the slots, fill the chairs. Let's see who's playing in the lineup. My name is Lawrence Bonet. I go by Larry. I'm from Sarasota, Florida. Unfortunately, after college, I played no more poker until just about a year ago. This is, I'm sure, by far the biggest tournament I've played in. I'm anxious to play in this. I'm excited to be here. My name's Howard Plant, I'm from uh, Blackpool, which is uh, northwest. Uh, I've been playing poker for 15 years to 20 years, you know, as a happy times. A lot of poker players know me already. Uh, it might go a little bit better towards the Bentley, um, you know, paying for the Bentley if I win it, but uh, apart from that, you know, I just want to play. I'm Mark Heron, I'm 25 and I'm from Dorchester. I've been playing poker for about three years, uh, full time for about 18 months. You can expect me to be going all out to get through to the semi-final. I'm Jeff, I'm from the United States. I, uh, I live in Washington, D.C. Uh, I've been playing poker about a little over two years. Um, recently it's gotten pretty out of control. The last six months of my life have been tumultuous because of poker. Uh, before I was just a consultant sitting behind a desk um, and then my brother and I got into playing. Five Dollar Sitting goes about two years ago and then uh, like I said the last six months has really exploded. Hi my name is Luke Patton. I'm 35. I come from Nayland in Suffolk. I've been playing Holden for about a year. I've had quite a lot of success on the ranking event circuit. Um, I've won four events in the last year and uh, things have been going quite well. I don't really have many qualities as a poker player. I'm a bit like a Labrador, I just keep going for every single pot. Um, I need to tone it down a bit. I seem to have one gear and um, it's a quick one. My name's Kevin O'Connell. I'm 21 years of age. I look a bit older than that, but it's a rough life. I've been playing poker in a previous life for about 30 years. I learned to play in Las Vegas back in the 70s. And I used to be a bit of a, a mug playing blackjack. I've I've played quite a few TV events and I've never won one. I keep coming second and second. I'm not, not like a bridesmaid, not a bride. So to win this would be, make me into a bride, it made me quite happy. Fast or slow, it'll be colorful for sure. And Kenna, you've played before with Howard Plant, haven't you? Yeah, I've played with Howard Plant down under in Australia. Always a colorful personality at the table. Usually wears, uh, you know, some goofy hats. He, he likes to uh, have fun and enjoy the game as I do. So he'll be interesting to watch. Kevin O'Connell, bit of a poker legend for UK television. He's played in televised events for over six years and uh, could be ready to make that big score. Right, and Lawrence Bonet, you know, the experienced uh, older statesman at the table. If the cards fall his way, who knows, he, he may be the one to take home the prize. Not to mention Luke Patton, an online qualifier, but ranked second in Europe, virtue of big scores. So let's get over to the table and see who's ready to take these reins in hand. Send the children inside and open your ears. We've got a chatterbox table here. 
at the World Open, ready to get rolling. 600,000 in chips on the table, split up 100,000 a piece. Those yellow chips, as usual, worth 1,000 a piece. The blues are two. The red's worth 5,000, and you must get every chip on the table to advance. One of these six going forward to the semifinal. And Kenna James, our job made easy tonight. These guys are going to provide all the narration. Except for Kenna, you could be here all night. <laughs> By the way, you, you might close the bar. Uh. Yeah, you know, just the look at the table, you can see as we look at... Kevin O'Connell, briefly considering the nine deuce. Pass. People's right. dress attire <laughs> quite different. Pass. Pull. A very small raise, I bel believe from Howard Plant and uh, Schriebman. Well, we're head up here, Howard Plant and Schriebman. Check. I think Shreeman's in the big blind and plant on Ten. the button with uh does he have a straight draw here, Kenna? Ten would hit him nicely. That six though Ten. has hit Shreeman's hand. And uh Five thousand. It's gonna be a little Five bit thousand. tough for this young like American Mars. from Arlington, Virginia. He's um Pass. Found himself in the middle of a table full of Merci. insane Brits, as you say. He's going to want to be careful here, isn't he? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, in. Bide his time and wait for a better situation. Good-looking young man. A good-looking table. A mix of everybody from the flowered yellows to the business suit to the pink golf shirt and the Vegas-style shirt there of Kevin O'Connell. He looks down at ace nine of diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> that looks playable. Again. I raise. Raise to 6,000 total. Triple the bet. Kevin's Pass. had uh, Pass. several big final table finishes Pass. in Europe, but still lacking that major Pull. title. And uh, like wouldn't he love to make a maybe. start here? This pot's three way now. Raise, Luke um, Patton's got a hand. Just in case you, you, you might not be. You might not have been you know, familiar with that rule. You mean <laughs> if they read your book, Kevin, the last three pages are missing? <laughs> <laughs> They've basically Patton. all missed here. He How is a... Oh, here comes Patton firing. What's that about? Oh, he's going to put a, a pickup bet out there. And uh, that's a type of a bet, a feeler bet, which says if nobody has anything, maybe they'll just go away and... Uh, He'll take what's out there if nobody wants to fight. Everybody acting very friendly at the table in the early going, and he's maybe looking to take advantage of that. Look at the instincts, though, of Kevin O'Connell not wanting to give up on this pot. Rule. Kevin is so slow that he once got mugged by a tortoise and a snail. And when the police asked him what happened, he said, I don't know, it all happened so fast. No, I had the best Patton, time. uh... Of course, has a regular man's day job, but he loves his poker and has Pass. made something like 16 yeah, final seven. tables this year alone Pass. in Europe. He's uh, wow. He's well regarded for the amount of time he plays, but um, the times that he hasn't made a final table, mm -hmm. he's usually been first or second out. <laughs> and that includes multi-table <laughs> tournaments. So it's feast <laughs> or famine for Luke Patton. My style of play is normally quite aggressive. Um, I think it probably suits it towards the end of the tournament or the end of a table but it's terrible at the start so I need to almost go missing for the first two or three levels but I can never ever manage it. Show me 7-2 off suit and I'm straight for it. No one to play with? There's always PartyPoker.com.